Hello and welcome to yet another episode of what's the status of the support of touchpad gestures and touchpad in general in Linux. Today we're going to talk about how we are today, what is to work next and finally who you should give money to apart from me obviously if you want the situation to get better. Starting off with a list of applications and how they currently support touchpad gestures. So Firefox, as an example, how is it? So in 2020, on Wayland only, it was added the support to actually pinch to zoom on the touchpad and then it zooms on the web page, which is pretty neat. And then, very recently, around June 2022, the latest update of Firefox brought the possibility to also do a left and right two fingers swipe to go back and forth throughout web pages. Now, this only works on Wayland, but you can make it work on X11 too, maybe, if you use the flag mods use x input two equals one. What about Matter, which is the window manager for GNOME? So we saw that with GNOME 40, we had a lot of gestures coming in, again for Wayland only. So we have three fingers up and down to access the virtual desktops and app grid, and left and right to switch between virtual desktops. Even cooler, there is in development, or maybe it has been done already, I'm not sure, the ability to do these two things like at the same time in what is as far as I know, the first case of a Linux two-dimensional touchpad gesture. So cool. What about X11 though? If you do use that, then there's plans to migrate Matter to JDK4, and JDK4 does support X11 gestures out of the box. So what you're currently waiting for is to Matter to be ported to JDK4. That is what you should be looking for. What about KD Plasma? Well, if you've been following the channel, you know that with KD Plasma 5.25, my favorite release of KD Plasma, we had one to one touchpad gestures. Now, there was something like that before, but it was not nearly as good. Now, it is. So, it's a lot of gestures. I'm going to quickly go through them. You can use you can use three fingers swipe in any direction to switch between workspaces. A three fingers pinch opens the overview. A four fingers up gesture opens the desktop grid. And instead, a four fingers down swipe opens the currently open applications. And left and right four fingers swipes still switch between virtual desktops. If you disagree with them, you might want to customize them, but sadly there is no way to do that. And it's not like KD Plasma is against customizing the gestures, it's that nobody has implemented that yet. What if you're on X11 though? So there is currently no way to get this one-to-one -one gestures. However, we'll see that later. I'll get back to it. Let's talk about Chrome or Chromium. So we do have still some Wayland gestures, that is, we do have the ability to scroll to refresh a web page, although maybe that was uh, removed in a latest version, I'm not sure. You do have two fingers swipe to go back and forth uh, throughout your browser history. And if that doesn't work for you, it might be because you're using an X Wayland, so an application which is actually thinking it's running on X11, but embedded into Wayland to simplify things. You can actually turn on Wayland support inside of Chrome going into the about flex. Somehow it seems like these gestures will only work if you click on the web page before doing it. <laughs> if you click on the web, you have to click on the web page apparently. And what about X11? There's no gesture currently in X11 and there's also no clear plan to bring any of them into X11. And it seems like it's a pretty hard thing to do. So if you use Chromium on Linux, uh, you're out of luck on X11. What about GIMP? So in latest version of GIMP, you can actually use two finger pinch to zoom into the canvas, the gradient editor and tree view icons, which is very cool. And you can also now rotate the canvas when doing, you know, this, I don't know what's the name, a, a finger rotation swipe, I don't know. This, luckily enough, works both on Wayland and on X11. What about PDF viewers? So let's start with Ocular. Ocular has a two fingers scroll. However, there is no inertia, which is a bummer. I think it's on the wish list. Like it's something that Kitty would like to have, but it's not easy at all to implement. Also lacking is pinch to zoom, regardless of X11 or Wayland. 
and you cannot rotate the document with the same thingy. Although weirdly enough, all of that is supported for touch screen gestures. However, the pinch to zoom as a touch screen gesture works terribly. So not great support for touchpads and it's not very clear if that's gonna change. I'm not aware of anybody working on that specifically. What about Evince? Maybe Gnome is better. It is actually. You do have two finger scroll as before and you still don't get inertia, at least on my computer. Maybe on Gnome it's gonna work. I'm on KD Plasma, obviously. It does work, however, pinch to zoom, which is nice. You do have that but you still cannot rotate the document with a two fingers gestures, which you might say, why would you even need that? I've got my reasons. And if you were wondering, my reasons is that sometimes I like to put my computer vertically and just read documents vertically. So I just rotate the document 90 degrees and I just read it, which is nice with that touch screen. Anyway, next one, uh, LibreOffice. So, Pinch to Zoom has been recently implemented in LibreOffice. I'm not sure if it's shipped already to the users. And this is cool. It's both for X11 and on Wayland. And even cooler, it should work throughout the suite. So regardless of what kind of document you're currently editing, you should always be able to pinch to zoom. And of course, we already had stuff like two fingers to scroll. However, I still don't get inertia. I do want inertia, but okay, fine. Okay, so the situation is kind of this, and these were the main projects. Some, of course, support them better, some worse. I haven't talked about every single one. However, you might easily find yourself in a situation where maybe you're using X11, which still lacks gestures for a lot of things, or maybe you're using Wayland, but it's you're not happy with the current gestures, okay? Is there anything we can do to change that? Like, can we improve that? So, a first solution is to use a third-party application that works as a touch touchpad uh, manager. As an example, the most known one, I think, is Tushag. Tushag, I hope that's pronounced correctly. And how it works is simply you tell Tushag, these are the gestures that I want, you can select how many fingers, the, whether it's a, like a pinch or a swipe, the direction, anything. You just tell Toshag everything of that. And then you tell Toshag the action correlated to that specific gesture. And then you just run it. It stays in the background and registers all of those gestures and triggers the correct actions which is super nice and even nicer. Yes, it works for touchpads. It also works for touch screens. So if you say a three fingers uh, swipe to the left gesture is this, it's gonna work regardless of whether you do it on a touchpad or on a touch screen. However, I haven't been able to make it work for both at the same time, weirdly enough, but fine. Of course, it's not a perfect solution. It has some flaws. As an example, it cannot support one-to-one -one gestures. Obviously, one-to-one -one gestures actually require, you know, communication between the touchpad gesture and the application who has to show the one-to-one -one animation. If you don't know, one-to-one -one gestures are those that, the animation that follow your finger as you're moving. So those are pretty cool. Also, I believe that it doesn't work on Wayland or at least it didn't when I was using it, which was three years ago at this point. <laughs> yeah, sorry for the outdated info. Okay, w what if you're using Wayland and you want better gestures? So the proper way we could say is, of course, to implement gestures on the apps that are currently lacking them. And although most of us don't have the skills to do that, to be honest, I don't. There's a project that is meant to address exactly that. And it's called the Linux Touchpad Like MacBook um, Initiative. And that project has been going forward for two years now. And fun fact, most of the gestures that I've talked about in this video come from this project, have been implemented by developers from this project. So they do take donations through GitHub sponsors. So if you want the situation to improve, I do think that throwing some money of them will make them go even faster. And 
they do publish a yearly, I think, blog post talking about all the things that they have achieved. And, and I think this is super interesting, they do polls on what should they work on next. And they have just published their latest blog post, just January 8th, and they are taking answers in the poll. And I think it's pretty interesting to see what are people saying. Because, you know, it gives us an idea on what people want and what this project is going to work on next. So the main wish is still for more support for multi-touch touchpad gestures, which I totally understand and agree on. Let's just bring more touchpad gestures to more applications. The second wish is two-finger scrolling becoming more like Macintosh, which I guess also means having inertia for a two-finger scroll, which we totally need. Please bring uh, inertia to us. You know, it's the thing where you do this and then you leave it fingers up and the page keeps on scrolling for a bit and then slows down. That is so necessary. Give us that. And then there's also an open question, which is what projects should we work on next? And since it's an open question, there's just the list of answers and it's super long. And we have stuff like Blender, Pinta, Krita, Inkscape. All of these projects would totally, you know, benefit from some more multi-touch gestures because I mean, why not? Some of them already have some. As an example, Inkscape does have quite some, I think. Some of them haven't. Nonetheless, I think this is a super cool project. So if you're able to, you know, donate it to them on GitHub sponsors, there's a link somewhere unless I forgot, that would be super cool. And I think touchpad gestures in is one of the places where Linux is improving a lot. And however, there's still work to do. If it so happens that after donating to this project, you still have some spur change. I also take donations, but I'm not working on touchpad gestures at all. I'm just working on Kini Plasma. I'm working on stuff like making the floating panel better and also making the panel better as a whole and bug fixing, that kind of stuff. And it's kind of my daily thing along with this channel, which is, you know, also sponsored through donations. So my monthly goal is 700 euros. We're getting closer and closer, but also January is getting closer and closer to being over. So before I have to start again, if you can chip in something to help me reach the goal, I have Patreon, Libra Pay, YouTube support, Ko-Fi, everything. Anything you'd be able to be cool. Otherwise, don't worry about it. I'm doing fine. So thanks everybody for following and um, see you in a couple of days with a new video. I lost my voice. Ah.